Hello, my name is Sophie and today we're gonna be exercising some horses and doing stuff like that. So, I'm gonna go down to the stables, which is over here. So today Hockey is not with us because um, he's at a friend's house to play with another dog um, but yeah um, I also didn't want him to disturb the horses so yeah. So today I'm gonna be lunging my young horse Miles who is I think he's about two 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 and a half yeah so he's he's really good with lunging and i think he'll do great i think i'm probably going to be taking sage out on a trail ride too and exercising devil but i'm still not sure because Devil needs exercise, so does Sage and Miles, so I might as well get it done now. Um, so first I decided to lunge Miles and I have to take his rug off first. So Miles is a thoroughbred and he's very uh, intelligent. So he needs stimulation most of the time. So I usually just you lunge him about once a day in the round pen and yeah. So since I last recorded we added we've added some decoration and things like that. We also added that structure which is where grooms and people hang out and that's where I started the video so it's kind of just like a hangout area is what I like to call it so we're just closing up to the round pen which is on our left here and I'm just going to lunge him so I got Miles working uh, really well at a canter around the arena. He didn't really want to walk, um, so uh, we just trotted him around for a minute and then what I'm showing you here is him cantering. He's really sweet most of the time, but sometimes he likes to go faster than he's meant to and not listen to instructions very much. As you can see, I just kind of waved the whip behind him a little bit. Uh, I didn't actually make contact with him. Uh, I was just telling him that I wanted him to go faster. So once I'd finished lunging with him, it was just a simple session that day. Um, because he had already done uh, a little bit of work on lunging uh, yesterday, um, so he didn't, he wasn't really feeling it. Here I dropped the lead rope, which is a little bit embarrassing, but 
Miles is really pretty trained for a two-year-old and he didn't go anywhere. Overall, I'm really pleased with uh, Miles and how well he's been lunging lately. Um, and yeah, he's, he's doing really well. So um, I put him in his store and put his rug on and I left him to do his own business for the rest of the day. See you later. Then I decided I was going to exercise a uh, devil. Um, so I said hello and then I went to go grab his pack. So today I just decided to do a bit of flat work with um, oops, with Devil just to get him moving and I was just going to school him a little bit um, around the flat work uh, arena with no jumps in it and stuff. So if you're wondering where I got get all my tack and uh, stuff like that from uh, i get it from equis centrals um which is a, a really good place on equestrian craft to go to if you need so i placed it down on the fence and i took his rug off and then i tacked him up He's usually really good when I tack him up, um, as shown, <laughs> shown, whatever. So I haven't worked Devil in a while, um, because I've been concentrating on training West and, and a new horse, which we're just coming by. So I keep on being really silly and dropping the lady ropes, but luckily I train all my horses to to stand still whenever I do something stupid like that. So I've been working on training this horse and his name is Fortune and his training is coming along, coming along well but I already trained him this morning without uh, recording it so So Devil is a fan of western work and like barrel racing and pole bending but the last time I exercised him which was about a week today um, I did western so I decided to just do some flat work with him in the arena. So he has a little bit of a slower pace than West and Fortune, which is, which is what I'm used to. But, and he's a little bit less trained. Um, so he will do little mini rears and it's every now and again, but I guess that's to be expected, am I right? I'm just warming him up uh, so that we can get his joints moving better when I do canter work and jotting with him later on.
I'm changing the rain to go on an, a, 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 a different rain um, so that I can get him working on both reins uh, later on when I continue his training. So Devil is technically semi-retired and I don't really mind that um, but he's not exactly old but he's like 16, 16 and a half or something like that. Um, so he is nearing his full retirement if you know what I mean. Um, so here I asked him for just a normal shot and he did it and he made the transition look really easy. From the rider's point of view, he looks a lot like West, but in reality you can see that when you're on the ground that he has a bold face and he has like a black sock running up one of his hind legs. From a rider's point of view, he looks almost exactly like West. Here I'm just changing the rain again to work him on a nice trot on the other rain. Is this the other rain? I don't think it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the other rain. I have trouble finding out which rain is which. So, I don't often do canter work with Devil, but I decided to make an exception for today and I let him have a bit of a canter and I'm pretty sure that was his favourite part of the whole schooling session because he never really gets to go fast. I'm pulling him back down to a trot because, um, well, he did a lot of canter and I didn't want to wear him out because, well, I just didn't really want to wear him out. I don't think there has to be a reason there, I don't think so. I decided that's where I should end the session since he was doing so great. Um, so I just walked him on a loose rein back to the stables and yeah. So I decided to take the shortcut because there's two ways to get to the stables and there's this way and then turn right or you can just turn right here and then and left then you end up in the same spot.
So right here we're coming up on um, Devil's Stall. So I, oop, I dismount and I walk him back to his stable, making sure not to drop the reins this time because that was very embarrassing. <laughs> So this is Devil's Stall, um, it's basically the same as all the other stalls, but I just led him into it and I untacked. I popped his rug back on and made sure to give him lots of scratches and hats. So I was, so as I was talking about earlier, from a rider's point of view he looks exactly like West, but he has a bold face and a little black sock on his right hind leg. So that's Devil's flat work. And then finally over here we have Sage. And uh, I've just got to go pack the trailer and then we can go on a quick trail ride. So yeah. It's not going to be a big trail ride because uh, I don't want to be at like the beach forever. Um, even though that sounds really nice. I don't think Sage would like living off of salt water and sand. So earlier I hung a hay nut up in here just in case I was going to take one of the horses out. Um, oh, I should probably grab one of those leads. So I'm just going to go grab uh, Sage from his store and put him in the trailer. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult because I trained him to go into the trailer at a young age, even though he still is young, he's like five. I trained him at three to accept the trailer, but sometimes he has a habit of not wanting to go into the trailer. So we'll see what his mood is today and hopefully, and I drop the darn lead rope again. That's so such a me thing to do though. As I was saying, and hopefully he's in a good mood to uh, get in the trailer. So here I'm trying to lead him into the trailer and he restrains and makes me drop the lead rope again. So I guess I was just feeling very clumsy that day. So I try and squeeze past and urge him into the trailer, but he's having none of it. So I'm just having to slowly edge him in. And then I gave him a bit of a pat and off we went. So I didn't record uh, driving to the beach or unloading him from the trailer because there were some people there and I didn't want to make myself seem suspicious or anything because I wasn't being suspicious. I hope I didn't seem suspicious anyway. So I was just walking around and making sure that there was nobody else here because that would seem weird to have like a head cam on and be like looking everywhere like a creep so he didn't need much coaxing to go into a nice trot and i walked him by and i trotted him by the water <laughs> by the shore and he didn't really want to go in 
very much. So I didn't force him at that moment. Uh, there were a lot of netball tents. Uh, tents. Ugh, lost my words today. A lot of netball nets. And netball isn't cool. I don't like netball. But whoever does like, like netball. Cool. Uh, so, here I asked him for a canter so we could go freely across the beach. And then I edged him faster and it felt amazing to just run. Um, I don't really get to run with my horses a lot and it's cool that I had the chance to just do it for once. We turned around here and slowed down because there was a person and immediately sped back up because that was really fun. I really wanted it to last forever but all good things come to an end so I had to slow him down and before we left I just wanted him to at least have a go in the water but yeah like I thought, he was having none of it. But that's okay though. He doesn't like the water very much, but I have a feeling that he'll love it in a while. Soon, when he's like, a bit older and knows what it means. I tried to get him in one last time, but yeah, it was just a lot of rears and bucks. And I didn't think it was very, it wasn't, it wasn't really that worth it. So, Sage just carried me through that netball net and um, I wasn't very pleased because I was wearing my snazzy new um, shirt, but well, I guess that's what I get. <laughs> um, so I won't record calling down because um, I can see some people parking, um, so I'll talk to you when I'm back at the barn. So, I quickly unloaded the trailer before I unloaded Sage because Sage was stimulated and he was, he was munching on his tainer and he was completely calm so I thought that would be a good time to put his tack and uh, stuff away. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm... I'm seizing all the opportunities I can take. Um, all the efficient ones anyway. So I put his tack away and then I went to go grab him from the trailer. So while I was walking, um, I was thinking about how good all three of my horses were today and how they all deserved a lot. Um, so later on, uh, I I'm going to go to the market and grab some apples and carrots and all that stuff. Um, but I'm not going to record that because that would just be plain creepy because it's like a silent shopping haul. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't really want to be one of those people. Um, I just want to have a great time exercising my horses and getting them treats and stuff. And yeah. Oh no, I dropped it again. So today, um, I especially felt very clumsy uh, so yeah that didn't that wasn't great um so yeah so i just um i just finished up everything with my horses and um the owner of the other dog brung hockey back from the 
from his friend's puppies. Okay, the easy way to explain it is Oki was delivered back from his puppy playdate and I got caught up in everything else because, um, yeah, there was a lot of drama at the barn that I will not expose. Uh, I'll just say it has something to do with one of the foals, but the foal is fine, so there's no need to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!